Parliament passed the registration of Persons Bill 2014 amid its protests from the opposition who were outnumbered by MPs of the NRM party. Debate on the bill started this week and a number of clauses were amended. One of the contentious issues was Section 40 a of the bill that stated that the Electoral Commission can use information obtained through the National Identification Exercise. We have made amendments, but there are those who have got defeated, like the one of the Electoral Commission may use the data. And they have said he may, but the Electoral Commission, which is appointed by the same person, will pick the data there and use it. Other lawmakers agreed that the law will only favor government. In this way, it's a kangaroo law. The Electoral Commission can decide and say, well, we have no time to do voters' update. So we are proceeding with the information in the data bank, which, which in essence is, is irrational and irrelevant because the information in the data bank has to be updated every now and then, maybe after 10 years. But the vice chairperson of the Committee on Defense and Internal Affairs, Peter Riaku, asserts that the law will enhance the performance of the immigration sector. For this country, because it brings together the work that has been under six different entities to one common position, to one common place, which is the registration of persons authority. So that now any of the government ministries, departments or agencies that need primary information on individuals do not have to go independently. Now that the bill has become low, it means that the people who require a service from ministries, government departments or agencies will have to show proof of registration or national identification card before they are served. More research all in TV at Parliament.